morning children yesterday we started the bahmani sutras so same lesson i am continuing today also i'll refresh the last uh, class what i explained see what i explained children bahmani sutras whom they belong to and uh, founder of the bahmani sutra hasan gangu bahman shah then tajuddin firoz shah greatest king after that i explained about the mahmud brahman and his achievements how uh, his uh, death also happened that i explained then literature education and architecture of the bahmani sultans i explained in the last class i think you understood all that one and you are remembering that also and uh, at the end i said bahmani mahmud brahman because of mahmud brahman only bahmani shahs prospered they extended the kingdom it was in the glory but at the end death by the death of muhammad the one the glory of muhammad shah ended muhammad the one was there when muhammad the one was uh, army uh, prime minister so after muhammad the last king we can say he is kalimullah shah bahmani sultan's last king we can say him. kalimullah shah After Kalimullah Shah, some other also came, but by that time, in the family only, the conflict started, fight started for the power. So they divided into five. The all they separated and made their own the kingdoms, and they started ruling. That one you can say five Shah dynasties or five Deccan dynasties. That one I wrote on the board, children. See here. Adisha is of Vijayapur. These are their capital cities only. Then Barisha is of Bidar. Bidar they made their capital city. Kutub Shah is of Golconda. Then Nizam Shah is of Ammar Nagar. Imma Shah is of Birar. Like this, they divide into five. You can say among all these five, these Adisha is of Vijayapur only the greatest and biggest dynasty. They ruled for a long time, children. Nearly two centuries. I wrote their years here: fourteen hundred eighty-nine to sixteen hundred eighty-six century. They ruled nearly two centuries, and their architecture only remarkable in India. Which I put only is their own Burmans, Ibrahim Raja, and all. So all their architectures are in India. Which I put these architectures only afterwards they taken the this. Uh, only this group of Persians and the Nizam Shah's dynasties were taken by the Mughals. These two again they merged into the Adil Shah's only. So these people only ruled for a long time and they extended the kingdom also. In this session, we learn one by one dynasty. Yes. Already I wrote the first one here. Adil Shah's of Jaipur. They ruled from 1489 to 1686. Century. The founder of this dynasty was Yusuf Adil Shah. He is the founder. He is the first king of the Vijayapur Adil Shah. He is also good to know. He ruled the kingdom in the very nicely and extended the kingdom also. And among the Adil Shahs of Vijayapur, greatest and very famous one is Ibrahim Adil Shah II. Many good to know that is. Ibrahim Adil Shah II is the greatest and the famous king. He got the title as Jagat Guru Pasha. See, children, Jagat Guru Pasha, Muslim king, Jagat Guru is a Kanna word. So this title was given by the Hindu people. Vijayapura means most of the people are Hindu only. Hindu people like the king. They given the title as a Jagat Guru Pasha. Why did he run? See, children, he was very kind to the Hindu people. In the last session, I said the teaching the achievements of Muhammad Tawar. Muslim kings used to make the extra rules for the Hindu people, extra tax they are collecting from the Hindu people. But this Jagat uh, Ibrahim uh, Adil Shah II was very kind towards the Hindu people. He was very soft towards the Hindu people, and he was liking more Hindu traditions and rituals. And uh, he was a good writer. He wrote the book Kitab-e-Nawras. That book name is Kitab-e-Nawras. So.
so in that he tried to make music popular among the muslims wo muslim bajna hai na tera na sun he want to do that work because any teachings in the form of song means people will remember for many uh, days it is more effective so here music you want to make popular in the muslim uh, region he he wrote that book and what whenever he is, he is a good writer whenever he is writing the books his book starts with worship in the hindu gods like saraswati ganesha bhairava all these gods he was worshiping in the beginning of the book only bhairava means shiva that means you understand no children how much he is concerning the hindu traditions and hindu religion how much he is giving the respect for hindu people so and while uh, hindu people are having many religious ceremonies puja yajna yaga they are having naming ceremony that ceremony marriage like there is many ceremonies also they are having other muslim kings were not enriched in all this stuff they are putting many distinction on all, all this stuff even for celebrating the festival also but he enriched the puja rituals whatever yajna yaga puja they are doing during hindu people he enriched all that one so because of that one people like him and they given him title as a jagat guru varshi i hope you understood it uh, about the ibrahim hadisha in giving the question on this question of short word you have to write so what i explain about the ibrahim hadisha second we have to write it try to write the own sentence it up yes this is about the first dynasty adishas of the jaipura and he given the shelter for the poets philosophers and many musicians he given the shelter for all these people then next dynasty will go to the that is balishas of bidar this one you have to note down children i have to write the short note on the ibrahim adisha second Barishas of Bidar. They ruled from a fourteen eighty nine to sixteen nineteen. Founder is Hashim Bari. Is a founder. Children, see Balishas of Bidar. Bidar remained the capital city, and they ruled from 1489 to 1619 century. Founder is Qasim Bari. After him, children, his brother ruled. His name is Ibrahim Shah. So you can say. But again, what happened? The conflict started in the family only for the power. So what happened? This Vijayapurites near the Bidar only. When they saw this conflict between this Varisha uh, dynasty, this Adisha is attacked from there and they taken over it. So in between two or five minutes, third week, you know, like that he attacked. They started fighting in between them only, family only things. So Adisha is taken this Varisha dynasty. It is merged to the Adisha dynasty. Their architecture and all all together is their children. So we take that one in the after learning all the five dynasties. I hope you understood the Manisha dynasty. Now third dynasty that is 
Kutuzsal dynastis of Golconda. Kutuzsal Golconda. They ruled from 1512 to 1687. Founder is Kuli Kutubsha. Founder is
Yes. See, children, in my class, road from Gujarat, and they road from 1890 to 1580 century. Patala was the founder of this dynasty, and after Gujarat is also yes, he changed that destiny. He chose that he made as a capital city, and he got the title as a Imar ul Mulk. Like this, he got the title. And after him, his son, that is Allahuddin Imam Shah. Allahuddin Imam Shah. His son is, sorry, Fatullah's son. Allahuddin Imam Shah. He ruled, but after him, Allahuddin, uh, that is, Dalia Imam Shah came to the Lord. But by that time, the neighboring state had started attacking the Imam Shah's dynasty. So, what happened? It is again taken by the Adi Shahs. When the neighboring states started fighting, this Darya Imad was not competent to face the attacks. He was unable to protect the kingdom. So, this Imad Shah and Adi Shahs only attacked on the Darya Imad Shah and they taken it under their control. That means, see children, these two Kutub Shah dynasty and the Nizam Shah dynasty went under the control of Mughals. These two, Bari Shah and the Imam Shah dynasty were merged to the Adi Shah's army. So, among the Shah dynasties, Adi Shah was in the greatest and the root for the northeast side. And most of the architectures are built by the Adi Shah's only children, very remarkable, world famous, they wrote. They did. <laughs> Ibrahim Adil Shah uh, in the Adil Shah castle no? he built the Ibrahim Rosa that one you write in your short notes Ibrahim Rosa he wrote in the memory of his queen his queen name is Taj Begum her tomb he built very remarkable uh, architecture he built like a Taj Mahal see it is given in your textbook children this one can you see this one so this is very beautiful one it is called as a South India Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal of South India it is called. So beautiful one, very big lawn is there. In this tomb here, it is Ibrahim Rosa. Here, his queen's tomb, his tomb, and his three sons' tombs are there. And the front one is the prayer hall. Mosque also you can say this one. And very big one, shootings and all will be there in this. So nice place it is. Very beautiful one. It is all gift of the uh, gift of the uh, this one. Uh, gift of Bahamani Shahs. For today, it is enough children. I'll give the homework. Let me run this one, children. I think you note down all these points. Name five Shah dynasties. It is already in the portion. Second one. Who is the founder of Barisha dynasty? Ibrahim Adisha, second grade of this one, Ibrahim Rosa. Rosa means the two built on the elevated place. It is called Rosa. Yes. Fourth one, write a short note. On Ibrahim Adisha second. What I explained, what title he got? 
the one book he wrote, all that one you are writing is nearly 3 to 6 and 7 sentences, that is enough. Yes, I hope you understood the lesson. Now, next we go to the architecture and many things are there. The architecture only very nice picture, that one I will take in the next class. Thank you.